appointed special advocate. To the best of my knowledge. To the best of my knowledge. Judge Steele's courtroom was crammed with more than two dozen new casas. That's court-appointed special advocates. This program pairs adults with abused or neglected children as they work their way through the life-changing and often terrifying family court system. I worked through the, the court system myself, helping my child stay safe. She was um, in a situation that is very similar to what's happening with these kids now. And because of my strength and willingness to keep up and keep them safe, I knew I could help other children. With proud family members and a few local judges looking on, the new CASAs received their diplomas, county ID badges, the casework and identities of the children they will assist. All CASAs are required to undergo extensive background screening and about 40 hours of classroom training and courtroom observation before they become certified. Of the 25 new CASAs, just one of these true local heroes is a man. You know, you're helping out your community. If you really want to do something for these um, these kids, they have, you know, we're going to be some of the people that they're going to be looking to, looking to for help, and we're obviously going to be advocating for their best interest in court, um, where they should be, where they should be placed, and there are obviously a lot of boys in the in the system, and they need some male uh, leadership or male uh, role models that they can look up to and uh, that know that are looking out for them. So I want to, from the bottom of my heart, thank all of you for being here. And I want you to go out and get three more people to come and do it with you. <laughs> Family court judge Cynthia Diane Steele is a steadfast supporter of the program. She has a special place in her heart for the kids adjudicated in her courtroom and heaps of praise for the CASAs, ordinary people doing extraordinary things. This is the biggest graduation class I've had, yes. But I will tell you, three years ago, we had 17 graduates for the whole year. So Sheila's been working hard, all of our outreach systems, and Dr. Phil, I'm understanding, <laughs> we're all working hard to make sure kids have somebody they can talk to while they're going through the most difficult, trying time in their life. For more information on how to become a CASA, training class session dates, and much more, please visit www.casalasvegas.org.